We're settling in. Welcome to our year-end mega, 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 mega. Oh my god. Are you moving away from me? Yeah, I was like, I don't know. I thought I looked a little squished, so I scooted. Mega enormous. Q&A. Q&A. End of year Q&A. This is not a tradition, but maybe it'll become one. We, we will not remember next year. <laughs> we solicited questions on Instagram, which if you're not following both of us on Instagram, you're missing out. A lot of content there. On some premium behind the scenes IRL in real life content. Are you done? This is going to be fun. We have like 30 questions. Yeah. When I say mega, I mean mega. I would have thought Shane, you know, selected the questions. I would have thought you would select 22. Why? For 2022. Oh. Like 22 questions for 2022. I picked 29 because I am 29 years old. Should we begin? Let's begin. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. All right, first question is from lots of people. Shane just wrote everyone for who asked the question. And it's a variety of, you know, when are you having kids? Will you have kids this year? There were a lot of different ways of asking it, but the general question is like, when are you going to have kids? And we, we've said before, you shouldn't, I mean, that, that question, when are you having babies? Yeah. Isn't always a great one to ask because... People might be trying and failing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it just it should be a negative thing. Yeah. But I think because we solicited questions, we have to put that aside. Yeah. And like we asked for questions. Literally every other person yeah. was like, why do you get to have kids? And you, you know, we ask ourselves the same thing. So it kind of makes sense that you would you would ask that. I think that's kind of our answer. Yeah. We we still very often talk about it. Like and, most days, I feel like it comes up and uh, I'm like, huh. And the conversation goes, are we ready? And then we're like, yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't we are. Wow, that feels weird. Yeah. And then like a minute later, oh, maybe well, we're not. But we have that trip <sighs> coming up in April, so maybe not. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's tough. Yep. And so we don't have a, a timeline. No. Other than we're actively talking about it a lot. Yeah. Um, we're both excited. Yeah. I don't ever think there's going to be a moment where we're like, this is our timeline. Yeah. Like, this is the plan. We're Especially just, because you never know if it's going to go to plan. Yeah. We're just not like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. But maybe. I think we're readier than ever. We're ready. We're not like ever. regressing. We're becoming more ready. <laughs> That's true. Ready, you know? Yeah. I'm going to say it. Next year. <laughs> it's happening. You swear. <laughs> I vow. <laughs> no, that's a joke. Sorry, mom. <laughs> but we'll find out. Maybe. 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 She's still. Maybe not. <laughs> She's like, never be our. Maybe. Ready. I don't. I don't know. That's our answer. Who knows? Got to keep the mystery alive, right? It would be kind of boring if we were like, we will be having a baby. Uh, next exactly. October. Three months. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> this is kind of a related question. Will your future kids be in your videos? <laughs> and that is another topic that we have discussed at length together. Yeah. And we don't have a definite answer. And I, we go back and <laughs> forth. Like some days I'll be like, we are never showing our children's faces. Like yeah. this is absolutely not. And then other days I'm like, of course we would. Like we really want, you yeah. know, to show that part of our life. Both sides have really compelling arguments yeah like if you think about all the terrible terrible comments and messages that we get like we would be subjecting our children to that mm -hmm. too when they are old enough to go online they're yeah. gonna find videos and be able to read terrible things that people are saying about them mm -hmm. um on the other hand like if our kids are adorable and amazing and want to be in our videos like I know. That's cool. I know. That would be great. I, mean, I think it'll I don't think we can decide that until we actually have a child. Yeah. Right? And I one will just see how we feel. Uh-huh. But yeah, it's really complicated. If they're bad at acting, they can't be in, right? True. Sorry. It won't be our real kids. Get so. better. Right. 
Okay, next question. What fashion trends do you see coming in 2022? We are not the people to be asking. <laughs> I'm wearing almost the same outfit I wore yesterday. Mm. Same exact sweatpants, same hat. Can you see my what sweatpants? Do you, what do you have on? I'm trying to show my sweatpants. <laughs> We're both in our our sweat outfits. Our, pajam mm. our pajamas. I see comfy clothes on the horizon in 2022. Okay, no, I have a real answer. Ready? Hannah just got these um, pants, like jeans, jeans, that have the, the bell bottoms. No, they're wide leg. Wide leg. Mm -hmm. And they they look very different than anything I've seen, really. And so I think that means they're fashionable. Oh, yeah. Maybe. And or maybe, maybe I'm not fashionable. Maybe maybe wide, wide pants. We don't, neither of us follow fashion trends, unfortunately, which shouldn't shock you. I know you might've noticed that we're not, we're not really that fashionable. That's okay. I predict t-shirts, sweatpants. Yeah. I and, said comfy clothes. And skinny jeans. Yep. Fuzzy socks. Beanies <laughs> and big glasses. Okay. Best memory of 2021 non-wedding related. And this is from a friend of ours. Hello, Anna. Hi, Anna. Oh my god, Chloe's... <laughs> I wonder if that was audible. She just like attacked her own butt. Sorry for the sounds of butt licking. You know, she's grooming. Going on over here. Uh, I have my New Year's ears. No, go ahead then. I'll think about it. My best favorite moment was when Hannah orchestrated secretly for my brother and his wife and my mom and dad yeah. to come surprise me for my birthday. And just like those moments of like, Andrew and Laura being in the backyard <laughs> and being like, what? And then like the next day, my mom and dad suddenly being there uh -huh. in the room. It was just so <laughs> surreal and amazing. And I forgot that that was this year. A lot of fun. Yeah. Aww. I think my favorite memory of this year, which I cannot believe was actually this calendar year. It feels like five years ago uh, was the time that we spent in Florida yeah. last winter in February. Yeah. That was so, so fun and relaxing. And warm. And warm. Laying by the pool. Gorgeous house. Yeah, it was so fun. It was really nice. Oh. All right. Moving to Minneapolis this year, what are your best tips for surviving the winter and restaurants to try? Ooh, congrats. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. It's cold. <laughs> surviving the winter isn't too bad get warm clothes and there's like lots of outdoor activities to do and because indoor. the winter's long and then a lot of indoor yeah. activities as well so there's there's a lot to do in the winter which makes it yeah better i was pretty surprised when i moved here how life does not slow down even when it's negative 10 yeah, outside not at all. and it's snowing <laughs> people just carry on uh get snow tires mm -hmm. on your car if you have them yep that's something that was new to me yep um and restaurants restaurants let's just name ones that we love we love turtle bread turtle bread coffee shop and cafe fantastic, fantastic. really good breakfast food and really good soup yes uh any of the restaurants at 50th in france we like a rezzo i was gonna say a rezzo for italian a dina grill a dina there's grill. others that are great that we haven't even tried yet yep um navias Navias, Navias, sorry. Navias, we learned how to pronounce it recently. It's <laughs> Not, Thai. I'm never going to say it the right way. That's in Linden Hills. In Uptown is Amazing Thailand, which we had for dinner last night. Yes. We got delivery. Nah so good. Nahamori uh, for Japanese. Yep. Um, Mexican food you like? Uh, oh, uh, El Loro. El Loro. Or Burritos, Burritos. Mm -hmm. um, There's also a good Mexican place at the Mall of America. Yes. Which, uh, Cantina Laredo. Cantina Laredo. That place is good. Crave for, and we're just going like on and on. Did you tell what we enjoy doing? Crave. Uh, crave. There's a few locations for Crave. We've tried them all. For like uh, a, a mix New of American styles. Yeah. Sushi. Yep. Really good. Cove. Cove. C O V. That's at the Galleria. Um, McCormick and Schmitz. That's right next to Cove. For seafood. We should move on because 99% of the people watching this video are like, uh, <laughs> this is not helpful for us. Now, now, if you ever visit Minneapolis, yeah. you have all these wonderful places yeah. to try. Yep, all of our favorites. Don't forget, Hannah's family owns a coffee shop down in Farmington. Yep. Blue Nose Coffee. Yep, you can visit there. It's like a 
30 minute drive. They have food. They have soup. Yeah. Uh, and like pastries. Scones, bagels. Yeah. All time favorite book for each of you that you did not write. Winky face. <laughs> uh, imagine if I, my books were my actual favorite. <laughs> that would be indignant. That would be horrible. Okay. Some kind of narcissism. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you know yours? Yes. Go ahead. I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. Nice. Great book. Mm -hmm. I made you read it, and you loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Didn't think I would. Yeah. But not my typical style. I know. I'm more into fiction. Yeah. But I loved it. Uh, mine is The Guild Finch by Donna Tartt. And I read that for you. You did. Did you like it? I did. Or Catch Her in the Rye. Hmm. You, you were just reading that, and you said it's your favorite all time. Yeah, I, I made her. Mm. I'm going to go with the Dome Finch now. Mm. I need to reread it. It's been a while. Yeah. Did you have a third? You said no, I, I can go on and on, but okay. I just, I'll leave it. I do. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Mine is to hydrate better. Mm. I never drink water. Yeah. I drink coffee, yeah. soda. Beer. You don't drink soda ever. Well, like, if, if I want something True. flavorful. True. It's, you have been having bubbly water recently. Yeah, and so I that's like good. That. You yeah. can bring that into the new year. If you haven't tried bubbly, the brand, ooh, it is the best flavored water. It actually is, and I do not like flavored bubbly me, water. Yeah, me either. You know how it normally leaves, like, a weird chemical aftertaste mm -hmm. in your throat where you're like I the bubbles are sharp. I shouldn't be putting this in me. Yeah. Um this isn't like that. It's like it's really good. Really good. And if you're saying like, what about LaCroix? This makes LaCroix taste like pond water. Yeah, well I, I think that LaCroix tastes like pond water without <laughs> a comparison. But yeah, I do love bubbly. Um do you like blackberry or raspberry better? This isn't a question, I'm just asking because you've had both now. I like the blackberry more. But there's a lot of different flavors. I know. That I haven't even tried yet. I know. That's his New Year's uh, that's resolution. My resolution. Try every bubbly flavor. <laughs> I was like, what was the question? <laughs> Mine is to learn to play piano. Yeah. I played it when I was like six. Uh, and I remember that I never learned to actually read the music. <laughs> like I just didn't. And I was supposed to. And so I would always have it in front of me. And the teacher would think that I was reading it. And I had just memorized it. <laughs> So maybe this time, I don't know, if I'll memorize stuff or if I'll learn to actually read music. Hannah's been uh, getting back into her hobby of, like, singing, mm -hmm. and she's so good at it. But it's difficult to, like, make songs. When you can't play an instrument? When you can't play an instrument. Because <laughs> you have to, like, get the instrumentals, and then there's all these, like, Don't worry, that I, I found lots of karaoke on YouTube. But I think... Your desire to play piano, yeah, is like then you can play along to your singing. Yeah, it's gonna. I'm gonna be unstoppable. My other resolution is to get a Hannah original or cover posted on our YouTube channel. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what is your dream vacation destination? I would say somewhere like really old in the, in Europe. Rome, maybe? think you would like Rome. No, more more north. Like like mm -hmm. somewhere in like like Budapest or like mm -hmm. like That's fine. I didn't really like Budapest that much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean that vibe. Like, if we're gonna be the going general together. vibe, you know, like of, yeah. of like town. Poland is pretty old. I love Poland. I know. Krakow is amazing. I think you would like maybe some like French cities. French. Your mom was born in France. She was. So. Yeah. Maybe that's where I you I can just see where she was born. <laughs> that but, was my dream. But she's not French. Shane is not French. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> By association. <laughs> Mine. Ugh. Dream. Like Bora Bora. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say somewhere like tropical. I, you always want to go to St. Martin. Or, um, St. Thomas. St. Thomas. St. John's, any of yeah. those. Yeah. I went there once and I was like, I will I will live here. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this is such a good question. If you each were a character from the office, who do you think you'd be? And I saw this when you sent me the list, and I actually thought about it and I I know who I would be. I have a definitive answer too. You do? Yeah. Who would you be? Yeah, you can go. Not who you want to be. 
but who, no, who I, I am. Yeah. And I, I'm, do you want me to young or are you young? I'll go. Okay. I actually would be Stanley. Yeah. I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I want to say that I would be like Pam or like someone fun, but 100% need an office setting is Stanley. Just like in and out, not wanting to socialize, not wanting to do the work. Just, yeah. That is me. very, yeah. You would be grumpy all the time. It's so sad. You would not handle my tone very well. You'd be like, nope. shut up. Mm -hmm. I would be Freed um, because Freed is just like this wacky, nonsensical, like the things he says are so bizarre. That would be me. I would be the one that people are always a little bit like, what? Was that a joke you said? That's true. Or was that serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can and I'm that. and I'm very old, so me and Creed kind of have that as well. Yeah, you look just like him. <laughs> okay. Uh, how did you know that Shane slash Hannah was the one you wanted to spend the rest of your life with? Was there a particular moment you realized? <laughs> oh man. I have like a general answer. Yeah, what's yours? I'm curious. Like the first few times Hannah visited in Pennsylvania and then flew home and like how incredibly empty I felt mm -hmm. when she left. And like, yeah, I did just those first few visits. I was like, oh, wow, this is what missing someone yeah. feels like. Yeah. Like I hadn't properly, <laughs> properly missed a person. Up until that point in my yeah, life. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. It was bizarre. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm I think the same. Like I knew that I loved you before we even met in person. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I think, yeah, like spending the rest of our lives together, I think definitely was in one of those visits. Yeah. Uh question for Shane. Do you deal with any chronic pain because of SMA? And there's also a hair here. Another one. Oh, why am I covered in hair? I don't know. They fell off of your head. Uh, you know, yes, yes, and no. Mm -hmm. Uh, so SMA itself does not cause pain, um, but circum circumstantial factors related to SMA can cause pain, mm -hmm. like uh. I dealt with that pressure sore. The fact that I'm so bony, basically, uh, causes my bones to like push on my skin, or, like depending how I sit or mm -hmm. lay. Um, so stuff like that kind of pops up here and there over the years, and like I'll deal with pain on an ongoing basis because of that. But SMA itself doesn't cause pain. Like right now, I don't have pain. Yeah. At all. Yeah. That makes sense. Correct. That makes sense. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, they always say marriage changes things. Do you feel like it changed anything for you two? If so, in what ways? Hmm. No. Not really. There's something wrong with us. We no. didn't feel a big shift. I think moving in together was the bigger shift yeah. for us. Going from long distance to living together and being together. Mm -hmm. Every day that was like a very big yeah. change. Yep. Because like before that, every visit was just like adventure. Yeah. And like like fun yep. all the time. And then in real life, you don't do adventure every day. Yeah. So, you know, learning how to do more mundane things together like go shopping yeah. for groceries and which it was adorable because we were so excited to do that <laughs> yeah. like we craved doing mundane things together uh -huh. for two years so when we finally could yeah we were so excited we were like what should we make for dinner <laughs> oh my god we can just sit and watch tv yeah we loved it okay how did you decide to share a home with hannah's parents there were multiple multiple factors i think uh yeah which we don't have to go into all of them but we have videos about this if yeah. if we remember while we're editing i'll try to put a thing a thing up here we'll see if that happens <laughs> uh one was that when we lived we were about 15 minutes away from them in our first house and we found ourselves driving there like almost every day yeah whether it was to walk our dogs together or eat dinner or 
my mom would like pick stuff up from the post office for us and we would go get it. Like we would just be there almost every day. Yeah, very, very often Liz and George would be like, stop by for dinner. Yeah. And you know, when you're a, a new adult like yeah. like we were. Yes, please. Um, that was amazing. <laughs> we were like, yep, <laughs> we'll take you free, free dinner. Free dinner, exactly. So we just found ourselves going there all the time. And at the time, my brother and his wife and kids, their family lived next door to my parents. Yeah. Uh, and like right next door. Yeah, like they had two houses next to each other. It just happened that my my parents were looking for a house and that one went on sale and they moved in. So they lived next door to each other. It was great. The kids were over all the time with their grandparents and yeah. you know, <clears throat> we were like, why can't we live in like an, another house on that block? Like that's just so unfair. A whole like our family's all there and, and we're we like for a while. driving <laughs> far. Yeah, exactly. So we were like, oh, we wish that we could be there yeah um so that was one mm -hmm. big reason another kind of big one is like as we are talking a lot about having kids mm -hmm. um having grandparents around yeah is amazing and helpful yeah and something that we and they wanted to be involved in yep um so that was one then my brother and his family moved out of the house that was next to my parents. And my parents were like, well, now we're alone here. We don't really like need to be in this house anymore. So both of us, you know, they were like, should we downsize? Should we like, what should we do? We were thinking we want to move closer to you guys. But now if you're open to moving, we can expand where we're going to go. Like it was just yeah. a bunch of factors all together. And we started looking at the same time, we were looking at houses for just the two of us. We, we toured a bunch of houses that would have just been for us. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, we looked at some bigger houses that would have been for yeah. all four of us. And it just sort of happened that we just loved this house. Yeah. That's another, like, practicality thing. Have, like, having two households yeah. like, increases your spending power. Yeah. Um, and because the housing market is so nuts around here, mm -hmm. that was very helpful yeah. to be able to you know combine yeah our, our stuff definitely so yeah yeah lots of reasons and then the perfect place became available yeah and we pulled the trigger yep um Han uh no shane what's your favorite beer hannah what's your favorite mocktail <laughs> you've only just started drinking mocktails I, I was about to say i should be like making those at home you i have should. never made a mocktail this is with an m yeah, Mock, mocktail. Like no alcohol. I do in the summer make pina colada smoothies. You do? Or like various other smoothies. Is that your favorite now? No, my favorite is from Crave, previously mentioned, <laughs> and it's a uh, no hito. No It's hito. a mojito, but without alcohol, and I love it. Yeah, it is yummy. Yep. My favorite beer is New Belgium's Triple, mm. specifically the honey orange, orange flavor. Yeah. So good. <laughs> at what moment did you get teary eyed at your wedding? <laughs> I got teary eyed when uh, my cousin Sarah did like opening remarks, and they were so cute. Yeah. And yeah, that's so where I got teary eyed. Aww. And the day when my brother did his. Uh, like best man speech. True. A little bit. Yeah, I was gonna say I got teary eyed when when Meredith did yeah. her maid of honor speech. Yeah. Speech but at our original wedding, we got teary-eyed during vows. Oh. We just didn't do vows during this wedding. Yeah. Again, yeah. so. <laughs> Two different weddings. I was, I forgot about the first one. <laughs> <laughs> We've been married twice. I know. You know, like, it, what day is today? The 30th? Two days ago was our four-month wedding anniversary. Four months? Four months. Sorry, I don't celebrate monthly increments <laughs> okay that's funny all right with your new home do you have two we should have put these back to back shane why yeah. are you slipping in a wedding one whoops with your oh with your new home do you have two separate spaces kitchen living rooms bathrooms etc or a separate floor from hannah's parents it's a beautiful home and pool thank, thank you. you go ahead <laughs> um so we have separate wings Wing, that's a word I can't say very well. Yeah. Wing. I wanted to name our child Wing. No, you didn't. <laughs> wing. Every time Shane can't say a word <laughs> properly, I'll tell him that I really wanted to like use it in some capacity. Uh, Although that did happen when I wanted to name Chloe Maggie. And you said oh, yeah. I can't say that. Maggie. Maggie. 
You say it just fine. Yeah. He refused. Anyway, no. So on this side of the house, we have our bedroom, our bathroom, and our office. Yeah. Um, and then in the middle, there's this living room and the kitchen's on the other side of this wall. Yep. And another sitting, like a family room there. And then through that doorway and is my parents' way. Yeah. What? And we share? We share this yes. kitchen. Yeah. Common space. Mm. And then my parents' stuff is over there. We also do have a basement um, that has like a, a living room down there and it has a guest room and then a like kitchenette. It's not a full kitchen. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't have an oven. Yeah. Um, so no one uses it. Uh, but like that could be an option if we ever decided like we wanted separate floors. Yeah. We liked that when we toured the house. We were like, oh, there's like an actual yeah. living and, space. And that's something that we've been like, you know, when we have kids, maybe, maybe we or they will move to a different floor mm-hmm. just so that we have more space. Is there space? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. But it's really nice for having family come stay with us. Yeah. Because they have, have their own area. Yeah. They can be visiting, but like not in our our space all yeah. the time. Lovely. Yeah. Like when we lived in our old house, Jane's parents would visit and they would have to stay at a hotel. Yeah. Because we didn't have a good guest area. So yeah. that's nice. What were your favorite childhood toys, games, video games? Oh, I, I love these questions. I was really into uh, like the little green army men. Oh. And my brother and I uh, would do these elaborate like setups. I don't really know how else to describe it. Mm. We would put them all around the house. And as we did it, like narrate kind of what they were doing, mm-hmm. you know? Like, oh, we'll put the sniper up here. He can look over this area. You know, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's fun. That's fun. <laughs> what about uh, g- game video games? Uh, very much late sports. So, um, Madden, FIFA, baseball, every sport. Yeah. Uh, and then the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series. Mm. We were real big into that. Yeah. Yeah. Cute. <clears throat> I only I, I played computer games. I didn't have like a whatever video game video gaming yeah. console whatever until I was older. When I was like thirteen, I think I got a Nintendo DS. But I played computer games and I only had the educational ones, like the Leapfrog ones. Um, uh-huh. But I remember when I was like in kindergarten, I had the ones all the way up to like fourth and fifth grade. Wow! And I loved I loved my video games and they would all be like do the math to get the carrot you know it was all i feel bad for myself but i absolutely (laughs) adored i I have like very vivid memories of those leapfrog frog games like i can still play them today i remember them so well hannah's as smart as she is today because all of her childhood (laughs) was just learning learning stuff i loved it to get ready to grow up yeah i mean i was i enjoyed learning (laughs) and then toys uh, probably like dolls. I, I like dolls and stuffed animals. Mm-hmm. Those were my main toys. Yeah. I didn't like, and my mom tried to get me into Legos over and over again. <laughs> Hated Legos. And I remember we had to do a science unit in fourth grade where we had to build a car out of Legos in science class uh-huh. with like a battery that would make it drive. Uh-huh. I didn't do it. I eventually just like I just refused to build the car. I took my time, wouldn't do it, and my car never worked. And I just, the teacher eventually gave up. She was like, I can't get this child to build a car. Like, I just refused. You were like, science, not for me. Not this unit. <laughs> I'll learn about clouds, but I'm not building this. I just could not. I can't build things. It's not my, like, electronics, you know? <laughs> not into it. Uh, this person said, I got one. I know she helps you shower, but what about the bathroom? Yes, yeah, she helps I, me bathroom. I also help Shane in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> you seem very glum about it. There's just not a whole lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, what is your favorite type of sauce? Favorite type of sauce? Ooh, that is the best question. You hand selecting this question is funny to me. Well, maybe I should bring them over to my sauce cabinet. Mm-hmm. I have a, a cabinet. Which is separate from your spice cabinet. <laughs> with sauces in it. Uh, not to be confused with my spice cabinet, where I keep my spices. Um, <laughs> favorite sauce, that's tough. Um, but maybe something garlicky, like a nice, 
they are like aioli mm. or something yep. cheesy, you know, like cheese on nachos, like a liquid beer cheese sauce over tater tots. You lost me. This is my favorite sauce. All right. What's a question you wish people would ask you? More about my sauces. <laughs> that is a great <laughs> Question. What do we wish people would ask? The process of starting and running a successful YouTube channel has been really, really eye-opening for us. And we both feel like we've learned a ton of like skills over the last three years, from editing to filming to you know, marketing. Mm -hmm. um, and I wish people would ask more about the craft of like doing this. Yeah. Because it's like the biggest thing that we do. Uh, and we don't very often get like, you know, True. technical questions. True. But we like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. I think mine is kind of a question I wish people would ask you. Me? And I don't think you probably included any of these in here. Yeah, but I often get questions, and they annoy us, <laughs> which is why you probably didn't include it. But I often get questions that are like, how do you take care of yourself while you're mm. a caregiver for Shane? Like, you know, like how do you prioritize that. you? Whatever. And I wish that occasionally someone would ask Shane how he prioritizes himself in our relationship. <laughs> You know, I don't think he's ever been asked, like, what do you do for self-care? You know, like, how do you, yeah. like, you know, recharge after uh -huh. interacting with Hannah all day? Like, it's just assumed that Shane is, like... Like, fine. Yeah. And that Hannah's not fine. Yeah. I think that's the bigger assumption. Yeah. Is that her caregiving requires some kind of, like, yeah. you know, refueling at the end of the day. Yeah, and that for you, it's, like... <clears throat> It is refueling. Yeah. It's just really odd. <laughs> you know, so I, I wish that those questions, I wish people would ask Shane how he deals with me. <laughs> Trust me, I should write a book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just the first thing that came to mind. I, sh I, I shouldn't one. have picked a negative one, though. People it's not, it's not negative. It's, it's educational. Like my first thought was, um, like, a, people would ask me, what animal I would most want to make friends with in the wild. You should do... That was my first thought. And then I was should, like, meh. You should do the elementary school presentations with me. Yeah. The questions Those are, are like that. solely about <laughs> animals. <laughs> Those are my kinds of questions. Okay. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever seen a ghost? Are you ghosts? Wait, what animal would you want to be friend? That's a really difficult question. <laughs> you wished someone um, would ask. Um, uh, what I'm, animal would I'm I sorry, like? everyone. I didn't mean to. If an animal would just come up to me, what animal would I like to befriend? Probably a baby deer. I'm torn between a deer. Really? Or oh. something that I could pick up. You can like pick a, a deer. skunk. Skunk. Oh. Yeah, because then I could pick it up and cuddle it. Oh. Raccoon. Yeah, why not like a possum? Possum. I would love to befriend a possum. That's a good one. All right. Okay. Anyway, go. Oh, and do you want to answer your question? What? Do you want to answer your question that you wish people would ask? What was my question? I don't know. It was about YouTube. Oh, like that in the hole? Yeah. I don't, know. Uh, no, I don't really know what really, I would ask. It's not specific. It's a okay. hash. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever seen a ghost? Are you ghosts? It's a very good question. Uh, we are not ghosts. No. Unfortunately. As no. far as we can tell. But... I believe in them. I don't not believe in them. Put it that way. I'm actually really surprised at that response. Like, I... Because you know I want to believe in ghosts. And I feel like every time I say that, you're like... Well, no. Argh. Yeah, no. I just, yeah, okay. I misrepresented that. I've never had an experience where I was like, that was a ghost. Yeah. And because of that, it's hard to just wholeheartedly be like, yes, ghosts are real. Because mm -hmm. I have no evidence to support yeah. that. True. Sure. But you're not against it. I have the evidence of lots and lots of other people who swear that they have had experiences. True. 
Um, so I, I'm not gonna like discount that just because. Yeah. So yeah, I think they should be real. Hmm. I would love to see a ghost. We should go ghost hunting. That could be a video. Said, we stayed at that one haunted hotel. And you heard a really creepy sound. I did hear really weird sounds. <laughs> it might have been my imagination. Don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, one of the sounds woke me up. One of the bangs woke uh -huh. me up. Yeah. All right. Question. Because Hannah is a caregiver, how do you ensure there is equal power dynamics? Good question. I think Shane is naturally very... Powerful. Forceful. So it's not, it has never really been an issue. There are times when like, I think that he shouldn't do something mm -hmm. like have another beer or whatever, you know, I, whatever it is. Yeah. If Shane was like, you know, wear a coat outside. That's a good one where Shane is like, I don't need a coat. And I'm like, I really think you should wear one. It's eight degrees. And he's like, I don't need one. Uh, like he wins, you know, we just know that if Shane doesn't want to do something or wants to do something, he has the final say. And yeah. as a wife, I can be like, I don't think you should do that. Yep. But I'm not. I like. I can't stop him from doing something that I think he shouldn't do. Yeah. If ever I express some desire to do something physically, like not wear a coat. Yeah. And Hannah didn't listen. Yeah. And put a coat on me. That would be a huge, yeah. huge problem. Mm -hmm. So she's never done that yeah. and that's why or a reason why we get along <laughs> um, but if that was ever ever a thing that would be a very very big problem that would have to be yeah. like dealt with and just that's hard to get over yeah that wouldn't work yeah um so yeah like, but i begrudgingly get him things she does and i'll be like you i know that that must be weird but like <laughs> I, we've said many times like yeah She'll get me whatever I want that she doesn't want me to do. And she's more than entitled to not be happy with me. Yeah. And we can have fights about it. Yeah. But but you still yeah. get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have autonomy. Yeah. And that would be that's that's very, disturbing. very bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite part of your job? Oh, that's kind of... That's a nice question. That's kind of the one that I... You're excited to receive <laughs> that question. <laughs> do you want to begin or do you want me to begin? Um, I think my favorite part of our job is when we do our more fun, like creative videos, like uh -huh. when we did the horror movie. Yeah. I really like making those and editing them. That yes. is my favorite part of what we've done. I didn't mind is coming up with funny ideas. Yeah. Like, it should be in the middle of a vlog, mm -hmm. but like, I mean, we're walking around St. Louis, and I have a joke come into my mind that I know is going to be funny on video. That gives me a rush of yeah. adrenaline. What would be your first question after time traveling ahead 100 years? What is the price of Bitcoin? <laughs> Am I a billionaire? Oh, man. <laughs> it's a weird symbol. I would say, are airplanes accessible yet? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Can I get my chair on an airplane? Literally. We had to change our battery. Yep. So hopefully this doesn't look too different. I know. Anyway, yes. Hannah, 100 years, what would your question be? Um, how's the planet doing, I think, probably. Oh. I would be like, how is this? Why is everything? Why on, is everyone in a gas mask? <laughs> why is everything on fire? <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. That's an interesting question, though. How do you both handle any mistakes that Hannah might make while taking care of you, Shane? How do you react if she accidentally hurts you or does the wrong thing, or does that never happen, Hannah? I think the real answer is we joke about it. Yeah. Like I will pretend like I'm really upset. Like this morning. Hannah was putting my pants on, and her fingernail, which is exceptionally sharp. They're stubby and short. Unnecessarily sharp. Uh, scraped the front of my shin a little touched, bit. Touched. Yeah, like barely touched. Uh -huh. and, I, and I acted like it was the most painful injury I'd ever received. He started screaming, you cut my shin. Yeah, it's so. I wasn't screaming. You were. I mean, for the morning, you were. You were yelling. You, you were wailing. You cut my shin. You're 
You sliced my shin. I wasn't really. I was like, oh, my shin. It was a joke. I don't want them to think that I'm like yelling in our house and like your no. parents are like, oh my God, what are you shin doing? No, you were lamenting. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't, you were, it was obviously a joke. So that's how we handle it. Yeah. I made fun of it. But those are like the mistakes. Yeah. I don't, like, I, I know how to do everything forwards and backwards. So there's never like yeah. bigger mistakes that I would make that we no. would have to like, deal with it's mostly it's very little little stuff the like slip that. of a finger it's... and the touch of a fingernail <laughs> uh what is one part of adulting that you weren't prepared for i'm constantly googling to make sure i'm doing things right oh adulting a lot yeah probably. there's a lot i think the monotony mm. of having to eat every meal yeah, sometimes that is so tiring. And that's weird because we love food, yeah. and we love cooking, and we love eating out, but there are just times when it's like, we really have to have dinner? We have to eat again. Again? We just ate. What? No. For like, you know, years in a row we've eaten, and now we have to eat again. Yeah, it gets tiring. That's a good one. Like, not, not the act of eating, but figuring out what to have. Like yeah. making that decision, yeah, 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 is really annoying. Which is why it's fun to order takeout. Yeah, because then we're like problem solved. <laughs> but even there's even that's where we're like, oh, I know. We, have to and we don't want to spend the money. Decide what to get. So we're like, should we should probably make something? It's just a pain in the butt. Then we have to wait for it. Uh, Such problems. <laughs> now, I mean, that's a better adult in the eye. Didn't expect to be hard. Yeah, and it is. Yeah, meals. <laughs> I think for me. When I was a kid, you would see either your parents or, like, neighbors doing things. Like, you'd see your neighbor repairing her shed, gardening. Yeah, mowing the lawn. Do, doing things. You know, your mom would organize her closet. Like, just various things. And I, like, there are all these things. Like, I don't know. General household upkeep, yeah. upkeep and also like hobbies that I'm like, where in the world did, did do people find the time to do them? And the energy. And the energy. Yeah. What in what world would I go? <sighs> like I really want to we have some like woods next to our house. I really want to make a path in the woods to walk Chloe. So I would need clippers, not a long path, it's not a lot of land. And I would need to create a path. I thought about it all summer and I didn't do it. I'm probably not going to do it next summer. And like, it's not that you're not capable. Yeah. More that it's easy. I'm capable. It's My dad like, would have done it in a day because he would just like do things like that all the time when I was growing up. Like I just, I don't do the little tasks around the house that people seem to do. <laughs> to do. That's like me in opening mail. Like I'm very organized and whatever, yeah. but I will let a mail pile just get bigger and bigger and bigger because yeah. I just don't have the energy to like mm, handle it. it. Yeah. It's not hard stuff. I know. It's like opening a jump and being like, oh, garbage. Yeah. But it's just like, uh. Little things. <laughs> We're just not, yeah, something's wrong with us. No, I think, I think everyone is curious. But they that. do it. Some people do it. I think a lot of people are like us. I think our parents are both very, like, on top of things and they do things. So we haven't really seen people like very us true. where they don't do things. Our parents have boatloads of energy. Yeah. So hmm. we didn't get that. No, we didn't get that gene. <laughs> How did the opportunity come about for Shane to be a consultant on Ordinary Joe? And what type of and what type of advice did you contribute? It's an amazing show, and it was so cool seeing your name in the credits. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, being a part of Ordinary Joe has been, without a doubt, one of the best things uh, that's ever happened to me. Yeah. It came about because I am friends with the two creators of the show, the head writers, um, and they originally reached out to me after reading my first book, like years and years ago, um, and we met up, and uh, we became friends, stayed in touch over the years, and then when they landed this show, uh, they reached out and they were like, hey, we would love to have a disability consultant um, to help us with a character on the show that has a disability similar to yours. Yeah. And I couldn't believe it and I accepted and it was so much fun. 
and eye-opening, and I learned a lot. And now I want to roast in TV. Yeah. Um, but the like gist of my consultant would be like a writer of a particular episode would have an idea um, that involved disability for that character, and they would reach out and say, "Hey, I have this idea. Like, is that authentic? Like, what can you tell me?" about it and I would wrap my knowledge and my experiences and give them ideas and feedback and stuff like that. You would read the scripts? Yep. And give feedback? Yep. And you sat in the writer's room for yes. some of the summer? Yes. And that was cool? It was all a dream. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> All right. As someone living with SMA type 2, weird looks and stares from strangers are very common. How do you deal? I'm finding it hard to accept. Hmm. It really bugs me. <laughs> I think it bugs me more than it bugs you. How do you deal? I, do, I hate when people <laughs> stare. It literally gives me like a pit in my stomach. I yeah. don't deal with it. I just hate it. Yeah. I'll just like stare, stare at them. Or I'll just, I just won't look at people. <laughs> That's honestly probably how I deal is yeah, I just never look. Unless you are like wanting to confront people, there's not a whole lot to do. Yeah. I, I don't like going up to someone yeah. and being like, why are you staring? Yeah. Because uh, it's not written. I don't want to take the time out of what I'm doing uh, to worry about them. But uh, it doesn't really bother me. It's happened my whole life. And it's silly and weird. And uh, ooh, yeah, I wish people wouldn't do it. Uh, yeah. But I don't do anything about it. Yeah. When I was a kid and people would do it, I would make faces at them because I was a little brat. But I would be like, eh. And then they'd be really? like, oh, yeah. Like in the grocery store, oh. my mom would get so mad. She'd be like, Shane, did not do that. <laughs> That's so cute. You should do that now. That would work. If I was just like, eh. yeah, every time someone sees you, you should make a face. Yeah. Not wildly adult. True. Of me, but. That's true. <laughs> All right. That was our last question. We're done. We're done? Yeah. That was all of them. Wow. I know. Look at that. I didn't give you any warning. It just ended. <laughs>